Hello, welcome to the first CircuitPython tutorial in which we will be covering the red LED on your Circuit Playground Express or Bluefruit. In this video, we will be use the red LED first to indicate that the program is starting up, and then we will have it transition into a state of turning itself on and off with progressively increasing delay as mine is doing. At this point, you should be familiar with C or C++ programming on an Arduino like the Uno. But now we're moving into Python. So once you've uploaded the Adafruit Circuit Playground library to your board, open up the board's code.py in your editor and you're ready to start to code. First, we will begin by importing the Adafruit Circuit Playground library, which we have uploaded to the board. We will import it as CP, standing for Circuit Playground. Okay. CP here works with both the Bluefruit and the Playground Express. Uh, from here, we will declare our first variable, delay, and set it equal to 0 0.5. As you can already tell, our program is looking different than C or C++. You may or may not be familiar with the equivalent import statements in C++ being pound includes. Um, regardless, it doesn't matter. This this line is what they look like in Python. This here is a Python comment prefixed by the pound key. This is a variable declaration and definition. In Python, there are no variable types, so you do not need to put an int here at the beginning or a string or what have you. Types do not exist in Python like that. From here, we will move on to creating a for loop. So I'm going to do for i in the range 0, 3, 1. And this i is going is like our i in C++, our loop index, which says how many, which loop iteration we are at. Um, the range here is a function which generates a series of numbers. It's first going to be the number zero. I is going to start at the number zero. Then it is going to increment by one each loop iteration up to three. So our I is going to first be zero, then it will be one, then it will be two, and then it will exit the loop because we have reached up to three. It will not be three, it will stop at two. Once we've got that handled, we indent, which is required in Python to indicate where a loop or other section of code begins or ends. In C++ with Arduino, indents were recommended for code readability. In Python, they are required to show what code is inside, for, for example, here, the loop or outside the loop. So now that we're, we've got our loop set up and we've started it with our colon character, we're going to move on to interfacing with, with the red LED on the board. So we're going to do our CP, which is our board, red LED, we're going to set it to true. True here is going to turn on the LED. Now if I were to run this, it's just going to turn the LED on and never turn it off and the, you know, we wouldn't notice any difference. So after this, I'm going to do a cp.r the red LED false, which is going to turn the LED off. Of course now it's being turned on and then off, but it's going to be way too fast to recognize because there's no delays in here and the computer is really fast. So I'm going to put a sleep in here. However, in order to do that, first we need to import the time library. And that allows us to do time.sleep, and then in the parentheses we put how long we want to sleep. So here I'm going to put the delay. And actually, let me go ahead and increase it to 2. I'm also going to get rid of this comment, and instead of having to prefix all of the calls to the sleep function with this time dot, I'm going to get rid of that by changing this import time to from time import the sleep function. Now if we were to run it, it's going to enter this loop and turn the LED on, wait two seconds, turn it off, however then it's going to immediately turn it back on by starting the next loop iteration and we would hardly notice the difference. So I'm going to also add a sleep function here, the same delay, 
so that we can see the LED turning on and off. Now I'm going to save, which is going to automatically run it, and you'll see on the board the LED turns on and then off for two seconds each. We will do this three times, after which the LED will stay off forever. Now that we've got this working, I want to use this part of the code to indicate that the program is starting up, because it's going to happen before what we are about to do next. So I'm going to decrease this delay from 2 down to 0 0.125. From here, let's go ahead and declare a couple of other new variables which we will use in the future. Count inversions equals zero and increasing delay is zero. At least count inversions. Uh, there are no semicolons after any line in Python, although they are optional. So we could put semicolons on any of these lines except for the one ending with the colon, but I'm not going to do that because it's unnecessary. Now I'm going to introduce you to the while loop, which I'm just going to say is while true, which is going to make this loop run forever. Uh, now I need something in the body of the while loop, so I'm going to take our red LED and set it to the inverse of what it was. So here it's going to be checking whatever the value of the red LED was at the point it reached this line. Then it is going to not it, which means it's going to take false and convert it to true or true convert to false, and then set the new value of the red LED to the result. Then I'm going to increment the count inversions variable just to show which iteration we're on, plus equals one. Now that I've introduced you to variable definitions and for loops and while loops and what they generally look like in Python, we cannot forget the if clause. So here we're going to put an if not CP or red LED, which means if the LED is on, we are going to execute the following code, which is we are going to increment our increasing delay. And we are going to increment it here by an arbitrary count inversions divided by a thousand, which means every thousand in, uh, in times we inverted the red LED on this line here, we are going to increase the delay by one second over the course of that. Now that we are increasing our delay by two milliseconds every other millisecond, let's go ahead and put our delay in our sleep function. Um, and just to make it a little clear about what our delay is, we're going to go ahead and print out the delay value right before that. Now I'm going to open the serial monitor, save and upload this to the board where we will see that the LED flashes three times before transitioning to the state where it is turning on and off with increasing delay. And just to make that transition a little clear, I'm going to add a sleep here for three seconds, upload again, and you'll see the LED turns on and off three times before waiting for three seconds and then going into the state where it's transitioning with very progressively decreasing frequency.